Hello. In this clip from our Gestia webinar, Virtual Isolation, is hyperconnectivity helping or harming the legal professional? Brian Quinn shares his final thoughts about how virtual isolation is affecting the legal profession. If you want to see more Gestia videos on law practice and legal marketing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, Brian. Before I jump into our audience questions that we have, I do want to provide anyone here for that CLE credit with the code to complete that verification process. I will provide some further instructions on that process a bit later, but just for your note, the code is LIZARD. That's L-I-Z-A-R-D, LIZARD. Okay, we can now move on to our audience questions. Um, again, if you have any questions for Brian here, please feel free to click that Q&A button at the control panel at the bottom of your screen and submit them. It looks like we already have a few, so we can go ahead and jump right in. Um, okay, our first question is, how can I ensure I'm being present for my clients while also taking time for myself? Well, it's a matter of priorities. Um, it, 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 there's, it's, it's. Um, I love the, um, uh, the, the idea of, of, of not prioritizing what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. That's from Stephen Covey, as a matter of fact, um, and that means actually looking at this to-do list, um, this client list, this things you have to do to take care of your clients, and understanding that that you you've got to really decide what must I do today you know how it's that really that's why I mentioned the oxygen mask um you are not going to be a hundred percent and and we fool ourselves we're, that's part of the whole denial process very very powerful feeling you know I'm not one of them I'm okay um I did that for so many years of my life of my practice um, and I was getting chronically and progressively worse. Um, and it was gradual and incremental. And by the time I start to realize that I might have a problem, I had, I had already done so many things improperly, uh, that, that I was in disciplinary. I had disciplinary issues as well. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's just kind of a common sense situation where if Take care of you. Um, you'll be better equipped to handle your clients' needs. That's that's the whole idea of lawyer wellness. It really is. It's wonderful. Thank you for that insight. Um, our next question is: What is the best way to motivate your friends or colleagues who may need to take better care of themselves? Well, I don't think that any of us should be to try to be interventionists. This is this is the this is the this is what you need to know about lawyers assistance services. Um, one of the most important things that we do every day in this field of ours, including the one, and I know the people in California who, who work there, um, is we receive phone calls just like that question that's posed to me every day. What do I do? And by the way, that's the most interesting part of it. You don't, Sometimes uh, the lawyer's assistance program will actually give you some tips. They'll want to know a little bit more about this individual, what, what's going on, what you, what, what, what are they, how are they acting? What's because obviously you, 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 you need to motivate them not by putting demands on them or threatening it. It's, it's, it's motivational intervention is, is trying to alleviate some of the negative. We call it the, the the good, bad, and the ugly. The good form of intervention is when it's thoughtfully planned and it's and it's individualized and it's it's collaborative. So I suggest to people, and not just because I work for a lawyer's program, because I learned by just seeing how it works every every day, and I'm just watching and listen all around the country. Call the Lawyer's Assistance Program anonymously. You don't have to mention anybody's name. No one needs, you know, when you call, remember you can remain anonymous and say, I need some, I need some, some advice. And here are people that are clinically skilled 
at giving that advice. I'm not a clinician. I'm a lawyer. Um, so I, I, I suggest that people utilize the free services that you have at your disposal. And, and you can get some advice on how to do it. So it really depends on, it's a, it's a case by case basis, just like many things in our practice. Awesome, thank you. Um, our next question is kind of similar to our first question, uh, but it's what is a good way to tell clients and colleagues that I'll only be checking my email at certain times? I don't know that there's, you know, that's more of a best practices uh, question. Um, I, you know, I know the first time I heard it, I was I was stunned when a lawyer told, and it was many many years ago. It was before email, and I don't think it had to do with telephone calls, um, because I would notice that he um, he would be in his office, uh, and his assistant would say, you know, he, he's not available, uh, and he'll um, con- get back to you uh, sometime after two p.m. or between two and four. And I said, well, why do you do that? Um, and he said, because I won't get any work done. So it's just a matter of saying that it's a matter of advising people in a very kind way. Um, this is how my practice uh, uh, works best. Um, I think it'd be best if you need to get a hold of me. Now, obviously, there are emergencies and you have to be able to judge what is a true emergency or isn't. Um, but generally, the best time to reach me when when they engage you is between this time and that time um if you email me you may not get a response until this between this time and this time because that's generally what i when i devote myself to answering emails it's just a matter of keeping colleagues in, informed obviously um i suppose i was always told that you have to make an exception for a judge uh if you're a, a litigator uh sometimes they forget that they were lawyers uh, but, uh, which is, and I tell them that, and I do present to many judges, but it's just a matter of communication, but Be- best th- piece of advice we have, we have in the practice of law and the best way to stay out of trouble with our clients is to communicate. I can tell you that disciplinary board folks tell me that it's one of the most common complaints that they receive from the public about their lawyer is my lawyer doesn't get back to me, doesn't respond to me. So just be communicate, let them know the rules and, and, and things will be better. It'll work. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more law practice and illegal marketing videos. We'll see you in the next clip.